Today, we are reacting to a video in which a guy finds a literal Pokemon treasure chest in his attic with a bunch of vintage Pokemon cards. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all doing good. And today I'm finally reacting to the video that you guys have been asking me to react to time and time again. Whether it be on my streams or in my comments or on my Discord, you guys everywhere are asking me to react to this video that we're about to take a look at in a minute. Now, I've seen other YouTubers cover this as well. I saw PokerRev made a video on it as well. I wasn't going to originally, but then, as I said, because of the requests, I thought I would chime in, take a look at it, and uh, give you guys my thoughts. So I haven't actually watched this video all the way through. I've seen bits of it, obviously, and uh, the first thing I did when I saw this video was I went to the guy's channel, which is uh, Pokemon's Alex, and I actually wanted to talk to him. As you can see, like, it says I've watched this. I've, I've skipped through to see what the video is all about, and I kind of get the gist, but I, I wanted to talk to him because I thought, you know, instead of just doing a reaction video like others have done why not actually speak to this guy and why not actually you know get some more information about what his collections like where he found etc and uh we react to it together type of thing uh so i asked him a week ago about a week but yeah, never mind but he didn't reply to me um he ended up not replying so i don't think he yeah he didn't reply to me which is weird because i thought i saw on the channel before i actually commented on there asking him to talk to him i saw that he's got subscriptions here and he does follow me so i was like oh great he subscribes to me maybe he'll definitely want to do a video with me like talking about where he found his cards etc but he didn't reply um for whatever reason but let's check this video out and see what's going on. Pretty much, for those who don't know, as you can see, 111 Charizards, a massive vintage Pokemon collection. So apparently this guy, let's, let's just watch it. But apparently he just found these cards. Let's see. Like I said, I haven't seen his video okay. properly. Right, I've just skimmed through it. Let's start off with the booster box. Unfortunately, the cards, have, most of the packs have been opened. I do have seven that are not, but... Jeez. It's so got a whole of you, so just sat there on top of the booster box. Crazy. All right, so we're not going to watch the entire video. 40 minutes long. Let's see where he gets to. All right, here we go. Finally. <laughs> Took so long to get here. You can see. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so we've got a base set collection Second here. Okay. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so you've got bare hollows. Like hollows after hollows after hollows. I've seen and three Charizards so far. Blastoise, Venusaur. Charizard again. Okay, Charizard these are just hollows. Really wow. Three. Wow. Four. Okay, guys, we are one folder down, and it is the smallest folder out of the lot. Ah, right, here we go. Okay, down, the down. Condition varies. I mean, most of the cards have a slight bend in, but bends don't matter though. Are bends are fine. For those who wonder if your cards bent a little bit or it's got a bit of warping to it, the correct term, it's not a problem at all. Obviously, when you get your cards graded, they put it into a slab anyway, so bending usually doesn't matter. It's going to be you know, squash flat forever, really. So if it's creased, yeah, I think creased the right word, then obviously that's a problem. But if, the, if it's just like a curvature, then it's fine because obviously the card does warp back into shape and it's put into the slab. So just to give you guys some reference. But I'm not sure why he's not like, using sleeves. That's the weird part. I'm assuming it's the fact that he had them in the binder without sleeves because a lot of people did that. Back in the day, a lot of people didn't really sleeve their cards up, which is which I'm finding when I'm offering to buy a lot of cards from people. Obviously, no, if you're watching this, make sure you do sleeve your cards before you put them into the binder. Uh, in some cases, you can double sleeve it. But uh, don't put your cards directly into binders, especially hollows. Just leave the hollows up, then put them into the binder. But I guess that's why it's not got hollows, because I saw a lot of the comments in this video, and people were messaging me saying, do you think this is real? So I guess that's what we're going to try and get to the bottom of in this video. But we'll first see what it's got to show. But I think, yeah, man, like, I don't believe the fact that just because it's not got them sleeved, that it's fake. I just think that if other people weren't using sleeves back then, like, why would you? Like, other people you knew, by the way, obviously, because there wasn't YouTube back then. There was no way of, like, knowing what each other were doing unless you were friends with them. Like, for example, for me, my neighbors were sleeving all their cards, so we did as well. I mean, I feel like if we didn't have that community and if we didn't have those groups of people who were sleeving it we might not have as well so so most likely this guy would have just got cards and put them into a binder thinking that's okay so that's that's one i guess point of view for this video so far but they look perfect though this is only the first folder like they do look perfect next, condition the next one is the venusaur all right venusaur up next See again just a fat stack same cards other than that they are mint they are perfectly mint to be fair when I keep scrolling, scrolling it is weird though because like they are perfectly out. centered like the condition looks perfect but again I, I have no idea if they're real or not man like why would someone if someone's gonna fake it why would they fake like that many like surely someone would just fake like five first edition Charizard Shadowless and then just leave it at that this guy's like faked so many cards if that's the case I'm not saying it is I'm just saying I know a lot of people are unsure about this video uh, let's continue watching and obviously the one that you probably all want to see a stack of you guys ready for this I don't know if you're ready but yes. Damn. Base set Charizard. I mean, look at the condition. Again, slight bend in the cards. I mean, I don't know where you're going to find a collection this big. And it's only just starting. You know how it is. 
Right. It's, I, I, don't, I, don't, yeah, I, don't, I don't know, man. It feels weird. Like, something does feel off, but I don't know what it is. Like, I can't say what it is. Like, obviously, he's not showing us the backs. He's not showing us anything else. He's just scrolling through the cards. Um, he should have sleeved them, by the way. If he hasn't sleeved them by now, he definitely sleeved them, bro. I'm assuming that's what they're doing here, though. Maybe they're just sorting the binders out, going through, finding old cards to put in the binders. But for real, though, imagine you're, like, moving house like he said he was, and then you just go up to the loft and, like, pull binders down. And what you thought you had was, like, a binder of base set cards beat up. But actually, you have this. You have, like, I guess, 100 Char... That's not 100 in his hands, though, right? 100 Charizard just sat there. Um, <laughs> you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, I've got, like, <laughs> 500k. <laughs> How many booster boxes would he have to open to get this, though? Because, obviously, you saw Simon and I pull two Charizards out of a box. And then, like, obviously, we did another base booster box break from my stream on my own. And we got none. So, for the box break that we did with you guys, we got no Charizards. So, to get this many Charizards... Charizard, he must have had to like literally open like 300 boxes and I don't know if people were doing that back then I don't think I feel like people weren't like surely this guy didn't open 300 odd booster boxes I'm not saying it's like a one in three chance by the way of getting a Charizard but say he's he claims he's got 100 and what 111 Charizards there Say even even 120 booster boxes to get 111 Charizards. Who was doing that back then apart from card shops? Like even we for Vivid Voltage, we only opened like 100 booster boxes to get cards on the store. And we're like a relatively big Pokemon store. Like back then, on online as well, with a, with a massive reach of all you guys, the huge audience on YouTube. Thank you, by the way. I believe the stories where like old local game store owners have like a shed of like 30 booster boxes that they forgot about. Because yeah, you're selling it in the store. You put them away. They didn't sell back then. They were quite kind of slow sellers. And now you're like, oh crap. I wonder if I've got some more booster boxes. I believe that. So maybe someone in his family, like his dad or something, used to own a card store and just open cards for that and they just forgot about it. It's, it's, it's interesting for sure. Let's see. Literally one folder down. Now to continue going through the rest of the folders. So I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, so we are a second binder through. All right. We're going to have an update of what the stacks are looking like. They got even more. But look at this. So yeah, they must have only collected hollows. Because so as you can see, like Magneton, Zapdos, Mewtwo, all the hollow stacks, Clefairy, Venusaur, Alakazam, all the hollow stacks are considerably larger than the other stacks. Which is interesting, but makes sense, right? They're the best cards. I know. I know we're going to get a lot of people saying that these are fake and they're not real. But I mean, I'm going to try to show you now just how, how real they all are. Uh, it is just crazy. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not making this video to say that they're fake at all. I just know that people have said that it seems weird to me. So I'm watching it with that mindset of, does it seem weird? So far, you just can't tell, man. Like, he's not showing us the backs. He's not showing us enough detail. I'm not the best person that, like... I mean, if I held a card, if I had a card in my hand, I would know if it's real or not. I guess it would be interesting if he sent these to PSA or sent them to a grading company to get graded. That would obviously be a, a big benefit, which he should, right? Like, you should do that if you have this many cards. But it is pretty mind-blowing. And, um... Yeah, crazy to say the least. Let's let's continue. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> they do look like they looks it looks they, they look good, shine, man. Like they look like, fine. They, they was printed again. They are not fake. They are real. I mean, yeah, you do see like, like as you can see here, you see some silver on them. I just saw a minute ago or a second ago. Bigger. Here, look, you see like a scratch there. So maybe they're not in perfect condition. It just looks the way because he's flicking through them so fast. They don't look like fakes, man. Like, and again, why would someone? I'm trying to think. Why would someone like print? or fake this many cards just for a video, right? Surely they would like, like I said, do like a smaller number of higher value cards. I was trying, I try and I want to show you all of them. I mean, but yeah, I don't know why he's just flicking through like this and not cards, like, I, mean, I get that they wouldn't be sleeved in the binder, but why is he not sleeved them to before he shows us? Or why is he not sleeved them as he's skipping through them? Because obviously this could scratch the cards. They are in good nick. They look, they look I mean, good though. Look just to show you that they are all Venusaurs. I can't cr scroll through them quick enough. Everyone's wanting to see. Damn. The Charizards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get so many people saying that these. Wow. Are fake. But I've tried to show as best how real they are. I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say, man. I'm not, I'm not an authenticator. You know, I can't see it from video. I can't tell. They look legit to me. Again, I, I have to reiterate, it's hard to tell without holding them. You know, it's hard to tell without inspecting them from a video. Like, yeah, it looks fine. You know. We're only two and a quarter binders in. Absolutely mad. Okay, so we have hit the halfway point. I think even more. Look, these stacks are just getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. Two Clefairy stacks. Now. It's just a little update on how the stacks are going. But again, like, who's opening this many boxes? That's what confuses me. Like, it's given no story to like where they came from. You know, that's that's the. I think that's what people are getting confused at. Like, where did you get these from? Where did you like pack them? Who are, whose are they? Like, did you open two hundred booster boxes as a kid? Uh, 
like where from like what are they that's why i wanted to get on the channel because obviously I've, I've skipped through this video i've seen the gist of the video is just showing off like loads of charizard and, and then base set hollows but i wanted more information so i thought if i can get on the channel interview him chat to him but he just didn't reply and he would have seen a comment for sure like not that not that i'm trying i'm like oh he's definitely seen my comment but like i see comments from you guys he's only got two videos so i'm sure he would have seen like the comment um so I don't know. I don't know. You can see that the hollows are literally just towering over. It's like even stacks though, isn't it? So they must have, they must have just, yeah, crazy. open box after box after box. Just to show you halfway mark of the stack of Charizards that we have. So it is very big. It is absolutely crazy. I know we're gonna just gonna, no one's gonna believe that these are all genuine Charizards. Like making a video is sick by the way. Like if I, if I found this, I would definitely obviously make a video on it. I'm a YouTuber man, but like, I, I think the condition and the cards themselves are more important than the video. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely would have sleeved them. But again, it's not, I don't know what's going on. It's mental. It's crazy. I mean, fair play. Like, it's sick. It's very sick. Like, does it just keep going? Like, why is he doing it again, though? Why are you doing this again? Like, scratching. You can hit, like, you just hear it scratching, scratching, scratching. Look at that. It is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. It is sick. It like, is sick to be fair. That's oh, okay. Here we go. He's showing the rest of the hollows, which is good. That's go going through, and there's already people. But I mean, you're gonna get it. Uh, I, it's an unbelievable collection. I think in here, so apparently, there wasn't any print lines. Section. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, don't, don't blame people for being. Uh, being like that. The condition is weird. Like, usually when you open like this many cards, you'll see some that are like crazily off center, right? And these look all perfectly centered. Usually you'll find like one or two. I mean, in my experience, I've opened like what? Three base boxes? Three base boxes now? Two base boxes. You don't really see them this in this quality and this condition because they do look perfect. They look like untouched, completely. They don't even look packed fresh. They look factory fresh. That's what they look like, you know? They look factory fresh. Let me know in the comments what you would do if you found this collection. What I would do is I would grade all these. So as many as possible, keep some for my collection, and then I'll go and like complete every goal I now have in Pokemon with these cards. But but yeah, from Ram's side, it looks fine. But yeah, the the it doesn't add up. It feels weird. That's, it just feels weird, you know. Mewtwo next. So many, so many. <laughs> it almost take me forever to scroll through them all. I'm honestly Gyarados. I just can't believe it myself. Okay, so as you can see, the hollows are gone. Okay. Uh, so now they are finally into the uh, binders. So they put the hollows back into binders. Have the official Pokemon binders from back in the day. You can see. Uh, to be fair, the, this uh, yeah, this binder looks perfect condition as well. Like it looks perfect. So I feel like they must have just never touched them. They must have just crack these, put them in, put them in binders, and just never touched them. Because even my binder doesn't look that good. And my binder was never really touched uh, either. Are you on there? So if you can see that. Nineteen ninety nine. Bro, look at that. Damn. So, I, so now he's putting back into binders, still without sleeves, just back into the binder. Like took them out of binders. I guess in a different order to put them back into the binders in order. Okay, so here we go. Here we can see the backs more, more detail. You can see this one's a bit off center. Look, the backs off center of it here. Some nicks in the corners. It's okay. They're not all like not all mint, gem mint. I don't know. They look weird. They do look weird, but maybe they look weird because I'm thinking they look weird. No, I don't know. Something. The reason I'm watching this video, like asking the question, is it legit or not, is because that's the question that so many of you guys have asked me, you know. Hey Randolph, check out this guy, he's found all these cards. Like they look is is it legit? Like surely it's not real. So that's why I'm tackling that. Obviously, first and foremost, it's cool. The guy's got a lot of Charizards, got a lot of sick cards. I'm not sure where else I can go from that in this video, you know. The second part is looking at, you know, where they, where they came from and that. So that's what I'm doing right now, you know. So I just keep scrolling through. Yes, yeah, so you can see on the backs, they're not perfectly centered. Oh, I can't remember. It's been a long, it's probably taken me about six hours. And again, now I'm, now that I'm thinking they're not real, they don't look real. The color is just perfect. Like, most of them do have a slight bend in. I don't know, man. It's weird. It just feels weird, but yeah, sick. Where they've been sitting in storage for so long. Ah, okay, storage. Okay, storage. It's crazy. This is crazy. It's actually crazy. It's insane. Even if Charizard was the least amount, which he wasn't, now we went to Hitman Chan, and say there's 15 sets of the hollows. Like a thousand. Uh, like 1500 1, hollows. hollows. Yeah. Just here. 1500 hollows. So 1500 hollows. Let's divide by 12, because you usually get 12 into a binder, right? Yeah, 125 booster boxes. I guess back in the day though, let's just do the math, man. Like what, 80 pounds, let's say? 10 grand, okay? So it would have cost 10 grand to 
buy these booster boxes and open them. So it's not, obviously that's a lot of money. I'm not saying it's not, but someone could have done it. Like we, we've done that with Vivid, you know? But again, were people doing that back in the day? I guess all that is, oh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna, this video I've repeated myself so many times. What's missing from this entire video is a backstory on where these cards came from. Why do you have them? How come you have so many? That's the only weird part. The cards look believable because you can't really hold them. You can't really see them too much. I guess all that's missing is a backstory, which is why I wanted to get them on the channel because that would have helped everything and it would have been sick content. Imagine like him here, like get, talking us through it as we're watching it and giving us some story about like what, what happened. It would have been an amazing video, but uh, yeah, I couldn't get him on. But, um, but yeah. I'm not really sure how you'd fake these. I know people try and steal them off. Um, I've never seen any uh, collection like this at all. Oh, it's news to me. So he says it's news to him. He's never seen a collection like this. He must have just like, he must have bought it from someone or found it of someone, right? Like it can't have been his or his family. He must have found it from someone. So I guess that's why he's not giving as much detail on it because maybe he found it in a way that he doesn't want to, you know, say. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, anyway, guys, there we go. There's the video. Here you go. Unreal. I put Unreal. When I saw it for the first time, like just sifting through, because I got so many messages about it when it first came out. One word, sleeves. A great video, but hard to watch without sleeves protecting them. Yes. Please tell us how did you get these? Tell us the story, Alex. Again, that's what we want to hear. We want to hear the story, man. Highly suspicious that his account was created seven years ago. Thanks for pointing this out. This is all way too fishy. They must have been somehow acquired illegally. Nothing makes sense. There's too many questions unanswered. What kid would open this many packs but leave someone open? Why is he acting like it's the first time he's ever seen these cards? He opens his first video with, I've got a very special video for you today, as if he's posted loads of prior videos. Where are the other videos? Assuming he did acquire them when he was a kid. What parent would buy a fortune's worth of cards for there by the sounds of his voice? Very young son. Yeah, I don't know. Forgets about his collection. States far too many times they're genuine and authentic. Comments he doesn't know how they could be faked. Excessive quantity of hollows compared to none. Strangely, even number of each hollow. That's what I thought. Yeah, each hollow was like perfectly in line. Doesn't know how to handle Pokemon cards. Act like he's never seen his Pokemon card collection before. Sentient on all the cards looks identical. I could go on, but everything screams fake. It does. It does scream fake. It does scream fake for sure. He hasn't got sleeves on. And again, all you have to do is just tell us a story, man. That's the weird part about it. We can't tell from where we're looking at, like if they're fake or not, but it's just a story is weird. It must have been, here's my guess. It must have been the bin. A store owner opening hundreds of boxes like we do to then sell to the public, but then forgetting about them. Or something then passing it to this guy or this guy finds it off him or buys it off him or it was a factory worker who just like found sheets of this stuff and just had these cards and an ex-employee type thing yeah it, i don't know I, I, it feels weird that's why alex that's so i tried to get him on the channel to check him out see like what's going on and then his only other video that he posted is a champion's path video but yeah there we go guys there's a video i have no idea what else to say that's it thanks for watching let me know what you think in the comments let me know F two questions first of all what would you do if you found this level of collection second of all what do you think about his story is it legit do you think the cards are real he should put sleeves on that's the one thing we all agree on he didn't handle them very well but what's this all about man very very weird but uh yeah anyway guys thanks for watching let me know any more videos you want to see put some ideas down below and yeah i'll try my best to make it happen it's just weird man it's just weird right thanks for watching guys i'll see you tomorrow for some more pokemon content for now though take care and peace out